What was that noise? Something's coming. Oh, okay. What is up, guys? And welcome back to some more of Sea of Stars. We're here at the camp. We just met Teeks, and we're about to listen to one of the first stories out of her rumor. Hey, want to hear a story? Hell yeah. Of all the recorded hexes and axes, or acts of bewitchment, you are as dreadful as the curse of the Vespertine. The story takes us back centuries to a time when a certain band of pirates ruled the seas. Stormcaller was the name of their captain. He was the most powerful wind mage the world had ever known. And their navigator, Hortense, remains to this day the shrewdest mariner on record. Or mariner. <laughs> Combining Hortense's skill and Stormcaller's magic, some say their ship was faster than light itself. The crew went on many adventures and accumulated countless riches until one day the inevitable happened. Hortense, whose first love was music, announced that she wanted to quit the pirate life and devote herself to her art full time. Ever a firm believer that the real treasure is the treasure one finds along the way, Stormcaller took her resignation harshly. Utterly insulted, he stopped conjuring wind for the sails and unlocked the ship right in the middle of the ocean. And we shall remain here, he said, till our navigator gets that silly idea out of her head. Well, Hortons had already made her final decision. Days went by, both of them sulking, while their crew begged that they reach some resolution. First they ran out of patience, then out of food, and eventually out of drinkable water. Then one day after sunset, the pirates, driven mad by hunger and thirst, mutinied and made their captain walk the plank. As he sank into the abyss, Stormcaller cursed his crew and conjured an eternal prison. In the Sea of Nightmare, he would channel a deadly storm for them to endure forevermore. Over centuries, the crew members lost their minds to the ghastly place until Hortons remained. To this day, the battle goes on in the Sea of Nightmare. Stormcaller's hatred pitted against the navigator's sheer will. Some say Stormcaller's fury will one day sink the ship, while others believe he will eventually bow to the indomitable Hortons. Legend has it she gets a short break once a day for but a few seconds. At the precise time the curse was first conjured, Countless sailors and fishermen have since reported sightings of the legendary ghost pirate ship that appears at dusk. They call it the Vespertine. While some have half a mind to climb aboard in search of treasure, most avoid sailing at dusk for fear of being sucked into the sea of nightmare. The end. Definitely interesting. Alright, well we already cooked, so now let's rest up and... Get the show on the road! A boat ride to the Wraith Island? That might be a challenge given the situation with the lift. Probably nothing you can't figure out. Which way is it? East of here, along the path. Mind if I stick around for now? We have the same destination. The more the merrier. She joins the cargo. All right. We can't even like interact with her, huh? Okay, because I guess she's not like an official party member. I don't know. Kind of, kind of weird. But all right, we'll just keep moving on forward because I'll come back. Uh, next time and actually do a bit more training uh, against enemies so that way i can get some more levels really need to up our our damage and survivability probably should have had zale end up attacking so i could have got the uh three mp from him doing that basic attack all right guess we'll take a look here We learned the combo Solar Rain. Okay, let's uh... 
Who learned that? Okay, it's between these two. Sun damage that hits all enemies. Wow, okay. More berries, huh? Mountains are nice. Thought that was an enemy, honestly. Ready to whoop some ass. Can't go there since it's blocked. Well, Stone Mason's outpost. I'll still have to check out uh, the other spots when I go back. The Elder hasn't returned! Malcolm will kill us all! Run! Who are you? Have you come to save us? Well... Of course, they're Solstice Warriors. Carl. It's true, no, we should help if we can. What's the matter? It's Malcolm, the Earth Elemental Wizard. We're just a peaceful little outpost taking care of the mine's wind tunnels. It's our job, it is, to keep them unobstructed so that the wind can play the melody for the sleeper. But now, Malcolm has taken over the mine so we can't go in anymore. And if the sleeper wakes, it'll be the end of the world. What's more, he clogged the tunnel powering the great elevator's windmill, so we can't even go to the bridge to ask for help. If this continues, Malcolm Mud's minions will start pouring out of the mines, and... and... It's okay, we're here to help. What happened next? The, the Elder went in and tried and stop him, but it's been so long. Where's the entrance? Just up there, at the top of the outpost. But Malcolm Mud is very powerful. Don't worry, we'll find your Elder. One evil wizard going down. Oh, what luck, thank you. Everyone stop panicking. Solstice Wars are here to solve everything. The Elder will return. Malcolm I won't kill us all. Yay. <laughs> Y'all are useless. I'll let you get on with it then. There's still lots for me to learn here. Everyone was running. Run-ups are weird. The best to always get these mushrooms, I guess. Heal Amber Ore. Tiny Pearl. Hey, good job, kid. Were my chests okay? Just kidding, it's the least I could offer as payment. Thanks for the help. Uh! And an expertly crafted table. Okay, can't really interact with it. I like how they actually had them, like, ask us about this chest that we just looted. We're, we are kind of rude, I guess, then, if we're just doing that. Like, what's on the other side? Oh, see, so we got They're gonna teach us how to mine or something. That has to be like either a party member we need to have or they're going to end up teaching us like a skill. No jumping down. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to do it anyway. He's like, are you guys crazy? <laughs> are you the Elder? I, I am, and you are? Solstice Warriors, we're here to confront Malcolm. Uh, my, how wonderful. What can you tell us about the situation? Not much, I'm afraid. I was simply trying to get away from the noise of all this panic when everyone started cheering as if I was going to go in and fix the problem. You were in here hiding, bro? What? 
So now I'm stuck here, equally afraid to venture forth as I am to return to my people without a solution. Don't sweat it, Elder. We got you. I certainly hope so. Be careful in there. Malcolm is one mighty wizard. Miner's break room. Okay, so we can heal up in here. That's good to know. Okay, yeah, we're supposed to sell these. So actually, we do have more money now to equip, sell, equip, sell. <laughs> Decreases damage taken. Oh, for those who prefer a lighter challenge. So that's putting it on like easy mode. Mm. I don't know. I think I kind of want to just like leave it as is because taking less damage also kind of seems cheaty, right? Kind of hilarious that the dude's just like hiding out in here, though. Ooh, what are those? Picnic basket? Oh yeah, we got eggs out of that. Don't know why I did that. Like we just brought that down, that was it, right? I don't know, I'm pretty sure when I go back and edit, I'm gonna see, oh, I missed something. <laughs> the more energy there, but I also wanna see like, what's over here, like when we go up. This is like the downside to the open world of this game. <laughs> it's like I wanna I wanna go through and like check everything out. See there's a chest there. Green leaf. Max HP up fifteen. Okay. We'll take it. Kinda sucks that it didn't like automatically like max it out at that mount I'd have to like go back and heal pretty much alright how do we get up there more dairy sweet we'll take it Steel amber ore so we can get our money up. Oh, it's just like for going all the way around.
okay, like nothing we can really do here. Something has to be moved or formed there. I guess it's going to be from that closed off room, maybe. Oh, I thought I got the hit in. I guess not. Damn. I didn't even know that thing in the wall was an enemy. Honestly. Oh, snap. Oh, you brought power back. I suppose I'll be going then. The mines continue below. Please stop Malco Mud. He's going to take credit. Watch, he's going to take credit when we get back out of here. I'm like ready to be able to move like all these different like stone things.
And we need to get our heal on. See that chest? <laughs> Another rainbow conch. I wonder who we gotta take this to. It's like a minor thing there. That's taking us off the map, so let's first go to the other side. See if there's like something for me to pick up. Okay, you're also the same. Locked door. Or is it... I'm able to... Nope. Okay. I was like, thinking I could probably make that jump, but I guess not. Too far. And we can't climb up that pillar either. As far as I know, yeah. Can't climb up there to go in there to see. But I guess we'll come out of that spot later. Not sure what happened there. <laughs> but it's kind of inter like interesting and cool at the same time that uh, Garl talked about wanting to see a sleeper as like part of his adventure goals uh, 10 years ago. And then as soon as we come out here, we got to help out uh, with this outpost and it's pertaining to the sleeper. Get that MP regen. Ah, dang, what is this? Mistral bracelet? Press square to release bursts of wind that can push blocks. Nice! So now we'll be able to move everything. What was that noise? Something's coming. Oh, okay. Uh. Okay, I know how we're gonna do this. We're going to press an arc. And then, double hit with him so now that's stopped I'm like can we use her <laughs> That was a nice one. I, I like that one. Ain't no way we're gonna make that.
So you're only gonna give me one turn to try to <laughs> try to knock all four of those off. Unless I get like a multi-hit move later on that's gonna be blunt and moon. Dang, that did a lot. Holy crap. Okay, that was nice. Just gonna run. So we're not gonna get any e EXP from that. Yeah, I doubt it's the last we'll see of that one. Let's be on our guard. Let me go, I can go back, right? Like now I need to heal up. Yeah, I'll, I'll go and heal. I think I can get there quickly, right? Oh wait, no, what am I doing? I already came out of there. far enough, but I guess not. Wait, what? Why didn't I make it? Mine's key. Okay, so now I think when we see uh, those, those doors that have the, the mining um, symbol on it, we should be able to open up those now. Taking this route because uh should be able to get to the bonfire. <laughs> Yep. That's why they're going to let us be able to jump down too, so we don't have to do all that climbing back and forth. I will say I'm already enjoying like the, the map mechanics that they're doing inside here. They are pretty clutch. And I think there was... Yeah, there's something... Oh, I can't go back, apparently. Berries up here. Oh, that was an enemy. I didn't even, like, notice that. Yeah, I think now the thing is going to be is like if I can use uh, the first combo to end a fight, I'll use it just to get the plus three uh, for. Dang, I like blanked out on the name. <laughs> for Valer and Zale. I can't even like tell like which one is I'm hoping it's this ant. Yeah, it's like hard to tell right there. drop 
that actually like hit pretty pretty hard. I don't know, it's kind of hard deciding like what to do because you want to get the most out of your turns each time, you know? Oh, I got Mending Light. I could have just used that, huh? Oh man, I don't know why I forgot to hit the combo there. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to use the combo on that one enemy. He'll drop again. We do what we needed to do there. Oh, okay. They're just automatically opened like that. Okay. That fan should activate and be able to take us up now. This device has a little windmill on it. Maybe try the Mistral bracelet we found. Okay. We'll take it. See some enemies up there.
That was actually like a pretty good fight. We're getting like uh, our stuff up. Mushroom soup. Okay, we just used one. Oh, come on, I pressed it. <laughs> it keeps on saying I didn't press it. Level up. That was like a good fight to level up off of too. Okay, was not expecting that. Very anticlimactic. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's see. Not expecting to have to use this thing. Or maybe I don't, I guess uh, I just gotta finagle this, right? Broke into my fort? Are you Malco Mud? Why did you hurt my pet? Uh, it attacked us, sir. It's not fair. Rocky can't know that you're just playing if I'm not there with her. What is going on? Playing? You're terrorizing the town. It's just to play, but no one else is strong enough. No one ever understands. Did no one teach you about your powers? Magic is not a toy, Malcolm Mud. So you have come to berate me too? I got nothing to tell you. You hurt Rocky. Get out of my fort. Okay. Um. Uh, so we are going to go with. <laughs> uh, we're gonna attack you. Shovel might. Dang, that's actually like a really good move there. And you're both bosses, so I can't even... I can't even really check them for how much health is left on one. Thank <laughs> you. 
the hell? Dang, that hit hard. This is like no joke, bro, bro. Gotta heal up though, so we're not wasting like our, our MP and all that stuff. Or I probably should have waited till like the next turn when old girl's up, right? Well, actually no, we got the full heal combo now, so we can, we can all attack now. Damn, that was a good hit. <laughs> this thing has like a lot of health. There we go, finally. <laughs> 800 EXP. You are very strong. Did people berate you too when you were kids? Is this why you left your village? Listen, Nakoma, you just happen to be born with special powers, and it's a shame no one was able to guide you through that. Guide me? Everyone just makes fun because I'm not the same. They say Malcolm I can't dig. Well, have you given it a try? It is too boring. Can I do it like everyone else? Everyone likes it, but not me. Everything was made only for others. And when I try, they say Malcolm Ed is not good, so I give up and then say Malcolm Ed is lazy. I really try, but I don't understand. So I make a fort and show them. Aw. It's okay, Malcolm Ed. You don't have to do it like... Or you don't have to do like everyone else. Carl is right. Normal doesn't have to be your thing. You, you do? Or you do you. <laughs> You're pretty good with earth magic, aren't you? Yes, I love doing magic with earth and rocks. But everyone says I must not do it. They just don't understand yet. I'm sure you could really help them if you wanted. Don't you want to try and do good instead? They only make fun because I'm bad with digging. 
No, they just need to see what you can really do. I don't want to show. It's okay, buddy. Take the time you need. I can stay in the fort? Well, it's yours, isn't it? Right, guys? Totally. Yeah, plus your fort is pretty cool. I like you. Well then, can you do us a favor and agree to stop creating monsters? Rocky is not a monster. Of course not. Look at her. You understand. Okay, maybe I will do good if something big need my magic. For now, I will stay here with Rocky. Thank you, I like you. Take care, Mako Mud. Not bad, Carl. Ha, sometimes you just need a little positivity. Look at us, restoring peace to a small town. Still no closer to finding a ship, though. Wraith Island. Let's check on the village. Surely we can use the lift now. Time is ticking. Is everything on track with the preparations? We'll be ready for the eclipse. Ready and excited, too. I fear the psychic's hesitance might fester. We should get a final confirmation. I will go myself. Three. Make sure everything goes smoothly in my absence. Solstice Warriors have returned! Has the threat been contained? Akumet agreed to stop clocking the wind tunnels. We are safe! Hurrah! You should have mentioned your role in this. I... Apologies, Brave Monk. We struggle indeed to give proper bearings to one of his talents. Well, you all better be more respectful in the future. We might not be here to save you if this happens again. Understood, you have our word and our thanks. Is there anything we can do to repay you? We're looking for a crew of adventurers who might help us sail to another island. Oh, in that case, you will want to visit the port town of Brisk. Feel free to use the big lift to the south. You're the ones who fixed it, after all. A port town. Surely we can find a ship there. I got all sorts of people. You're bound to find what you're looking for. Oh, I can't wait. There might even be a tavern. Let's try that lift. Yeah, I guess so. But guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. I'm going to go backtrack and do some training. Uh, get some more levels. Just because I want to increase like survivability as well as like damage output. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. And also subscribe to the channel if you have yet to subscribe. Let's me know you enjoy the content you see right here. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.